right, so this is going to be lab one, and we're going to do, uh, it's called graphing motion, and, and so I'll just walk you through kind of uh, how to get this all started and going. So, uh, so in, in 131, uh, you're going to go down to the first tab is labs, and you can drop that down, and you'll see a couple things here. You'll have uh, the lab manual as a link to a press book, okay? So we'll just click read the book. And, uh, and then the contents here, the first section is called the IOLAB setup. So you want to go through these three pages, installing the software, calibrating the hardware, uh, and learning how to kind of look at your data and get, get to know uh, how the software works a little bit. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, we'll click down into the lab assignment section. And the first one is graphing motion. Okay, so all the instructions uh, are in here, and and essentially what you're going to do in this in this lab is the first part you're going to uh, look at position versus time graphs, and so in every graph uh, I have every possible type of uh, curve or line you'll we'll see on any graph uh, anywhere. Okay, these seven basic shapes essentially form any graph that we ever see. And, and so what we're going to do is use the ILEPTA device to try to replicate these, these lines, okay? And, and so when you uh, look at the report, okay, so you can access the report also on the Moodle page. Uh, so here's a folder for lab report worksheets, and, and all five of them are here. And the first one, um, first one's on top, of course, and, and I have its it's either in a Word document or in an Apple Pages document, so whichever you use. And then when you go to um, uh, upload it uh, to Moodle, then uh, you can upload it as, as a uh, PDF or doc file. Um, I think the pages, is, the pages version is working now, but if you just want to be safe, then uh, usually the, the PDF is probably the safest way to go. Okay, and then once you are ready to submit, you're going to submit your, your lab report worksheet under lab one. And then there'll be a button there for you to uh, submit the paper down here. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the lab. So the, so the basically the instructions are up here and, and here are the lines. And so then for this first part of the lab, what you're going to do is fill out, complete this table and and so basically you have, you have all seven of these lines and just kind of give uh, start off by trying to predict what you think is going to happen or what you think you have to do to make each line using the IOLAB device okay and so I'm not going to grade you on this I uh, so 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 if your prediction was wrong don't worry about it you don't have to go back and fix it and change it if it was wrong you're not going to lose points the point uh, the point of this uh, column of the table is just to get you to think about uh, the uh, what you think is going to happen. Okay, um, and it's really important. I think I think it'll help. It'll help you to understand better if you can get this. Uh, think about it before you actually do it. Okay, and then after you uh, do the motion, you'll fill out the next column. So what did you actually have to do? And then you'll take a screenshot of your graph. So let's go ahead then. And we will, uh, I'll show you how to, uh, I'll show you basically essentially what you're going to do here. So we'll open up the software. Okay, and you'll see I'm paired here. And, and then what we'll do is uh, we'll just press the on button. And that should turn green, so you don't have to press and hold it. You just press it once and let go. And now you see that uh, we are connected, okay? And it's showing up as remote one. And then what we'll do is we'll click on the wheel sensor, okay? Because the wheel sensor is basically this wheel on the device. That's uh, what the device is measuring, the movement, uh, how much that wheel moves, okay? And from that, it can calculate the position Okay, of the ILM device, how far it is from uh, a reference point, so a zero, so we're basically wherever you start moving it from. 
Um, and then from that it will calculate velocity and acceleration. Okay, so really we don't need uh, the velocity and acceleration yet. We can just look at, at the position graph. So it will show us a position versus time graph. Okay, um, so we'll place it uh, on the table wheel side down. Okay, and so basically my, my zero point will be here. And you can even see uh, on the back of the device there's an X, Y, Z plane. Okay, so basically the device moves along the Y uh, plane. Okay, and so that'll show up on your graph uh, as the Y axis. So if I just press record, you'll see the red lines there at zero. And if I move it to the left, okay, it goes one way. If I move it to the right, it goes the other way on the graph. So I'm stop here. Okay, and so that's all you're going to do here is you're going to predict what do you think uh, each of, you have to do to this device to make each of these lines. Okay, give it a try. You know, see what see if you're right or not. You're not going to lose points if you're wrong. Uh, and then just write out actually what you had to do in there. And then you can go ahead and take uh, a screenshot of your graph. So I know uh, in, in my Mac I have a, uh, a, little, a little tool here called Screenshot and I can just click and drag over the spot um, that I want to take a picture of. Uh, so maybe I just do this little region here, uh, sort of like how you see in, in the, the one that I made for you. Okay. And, uh, and there's a snipping tool I know in Windows as well. All right, and then for, uh, for the next part of the lab, you're gonna have this complex, sort of complex graph, graph made up of several things, okay? So I want you to just kind of uh, think about what would create that type of graph, okay? And then actually try to recreate it. You know, play around with the device, move it around, see what, what you need to do to make that. And then, uh, and then you'll describe here uh, what happens during, what you had to do during all of these intervals, what type of motion uh, you had to make. Okay, and there's just a couple uh, of questions to think about afterwards. And then the second part of the lab, you're going to essentially repeat, okay, what you did. But now, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the software and now you're going to click on the velocity. Graph. So you'll actually see position versus time on top and velocity versus time on the bottom. Okay, and now what you'll do is you will take your device and, and what you're going to do is you're going to kind of predict here what does the cores, corresponding velocity versus time graph look like for each position versus time. Okay, so for this first one here, the, the flat line, to make a prediction, what do you think the device has to do, uh, or what do you think the velocity versus time graph will look like uh, based on this? So, for instance, this is pretty. Uh, this first one's pretty easy. You probably don't have to do it. You probably already guessed what happened. So, in order to make that uh, flat line on a position time graph, you don't do anything, right? Because uh, its position is flat. It's not going anywhere. Likewise, you probably were able to predict that the velocity time graph would also be a flat line there at zero, okay? Because its velocity, since it's, it's at rest, the velocity is going to be zero, okay? Um, so you're just predict so you're just taking each each position versus time graph, and you're trying to predict what kind of what is the velocity graph going to look like, okay? And then you give it a try again. <clears throat> you're not going to lose any points getting the prediction wrong. I uh, just want you to think about it first because that will really help you to, to understand and ingrain uh, this, this, these types of graph shapes in your mind. Okay, and then, uh, <clears throat> then again, there's another uh, graph that you're gonna try to play around with and recreate. It's the same shape as, as there was in the first part, okay? Only now, uh, this is a velocity versus time graph. So what kind of uh, basically, what kind of motion are you going to have to do to create this type of, uh, uh, of, of graph? Okay? okay. And then a few more, uh, a few more uh, analysis questions there. Okay? And 
Uh, and like I said, once you're done, you just go to the, the Moodle and click under uh, the lab one. So, so uh, these are the turn it in assignments, this little looks like a blue paper, blue outline paper with a, a red arrow going into it. That's the turn it in assignment. Okay, and that should be it then for lab one.